Hello, I'm Russ, and welcome to my September haul. First, we have the graphic novel The Prince and the Dressmaker, uh, which I've already read, and I've given it five stars. It's a really cute graphic novel um, about a dressmaker making dresses for a prince. Uh, other than that, there's not too much to say about it without getting into spoilers, so I will not say more. Uh, moving on. Next, we have Squirrel Fight's Hope, which is part of the Warriors uh, series. Is a super edition um, about Squirrel Fight, which I can't say too much about it because it takes place between spoilers and spoilers so this this you need to be caught up to the most recent books to read um, it takes place between a vision of shadows and the broken code which um, you can either read this before or after Lost Stars, which is the first in the Broken Code. Um, and yeah, I've already read this. I think I gave it three and a half stars. I could be wrong. Um, but it's okay. It's an okay super edition. There's some infuriating moments, but um, the plot is okay um there's aspects of the plot that are really intriguing and i wish they delved more into it but they didn't uh yeah and then i picked up carry on by rainbow Rowell. um i picked this up in anticipation of the sequel coming out and I really liked it. I believe I gave it four stars since I've already read it. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest book I've ever read, but it was entertaining and it was a fast read. So, uh, yeah. Um, curious to see how they deal with the characters in the sequel but uh yeah that's it for this one and i picked up the sequel to carry on wayward son by rainbow Rowell. this is the barnes and noble exclusive edition which has a different cover and has a different hardback design and it has a different end pages. Uh, I haven't started reading this yet, but I have it on my TBR for this month, uh, which I anticipate getting to it soon. And I picked up the new Rick Riordan book, The Trials of Apollo, book four, The Tyrant's Tomb. Can't really talk about it because it's spoilers. And also because I am a little behind in the books. So I haven't even started The Trials of Apollo, but I've been collecting the books as they've been coming out as I know that I will probably like them, as I like all of his books so far uh, that I've read. So yeah. The next books are from a library sale, so I got them all for really cheap. And the first one I picked up was The Serpent's Shadow, which is the third book. Third and final book in the Kane Chronicles. I've not read the Kane Chronicles yet. Um, 
but I've been collecting books at every book sale that I find them in. And this happens to be an exclusive edition. Um, so yeah, I don't have much to say about this one. Other than it it's, has to do with Egyptian mythology. That's all that I know about these books. And Zim has decided to interrupt this haul by being cute and getting in the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zim. And uh, let's see how long he wants to stay here. <laughs> since he is kind of getting it in the way. So, Zim has left us, and so we can resume the haul. Well, next I picked up The Son of a Neptune, uh, which is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I've read this book, but I have not I have not owned it, so I decided to pick it up since it was only two bucks. I also picked up The Mark of Athena, the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Um, I've read this book and I didn't previously own it and I wanted to own it and it was only two bucks. So I can't really talk too much about these books because spoilers. <laughs> and I picked up Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Demigod Files. Which I believe is a collection of short stories uh, that follow Percy Jackson in the first series. Um, and so yeah, I couldn't help but pick it up from the library sale. And lastly of the Rick Riordan books I picked up was The Demigod Diaries, which is a short story collection from the Heroes of Olympus series. Uh, I've not read this and I'm curious to see what the short stories bring to um, flush out the series. And I picked up the Project Girl Mage which I didn't realize was part of a it was a sequel series to another series when I picked it up so I'll have to pick up the first series before I get to this one. But it sounded interesting. Something about Mage War. Um, but yeah, so I have to pick up the first one to understand this one. And I picked up the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I've been reading the Throne of Glass books on audiobook and I've not read the uh, prequel yet. So this is the prequel to the Throne of Glass novels. Um, so I picked this up as soon as I saw it at the book sale. Didn't see any other Throne of Glass books there, but I thought Saving some money instead of uh, using a credit on Audible would have uh, been a good idea. So I picked this up for like two dollars, and I'm I can't wait to uh, start reading it. Next, I picked up Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, and I've had my eye on this quite a while because I honestly think the cover is really beautiful. Um, and so when I saw it at the book, at the book sale, I couldn't help pick it up. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know too much about it other than it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. So, yeah. Next, I picked up Return to the Isle of the Lost, a Descendants novel. Um, 
I have have the first one. I have not read it. And when I saw the second one, I decided to pick it up in case I liked the first one. Um, yeah. I don't know too much what it's about other than it has to do with the descendants of Disney characters. Um, but yeah. Next, I picked up Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I tried to listen to this on audiobook, and I didn't get very far on it, as I just wasn't vibing with the book. But when I saw the book sale, I decided I would give it a second chance, maybe reading it instead of listening to the audiobook. I'll enjoy it better. Um... But yeah, this has to do with uh, magic. Um, every 10 years or so, this mage called the dragon that keeps this evil forest at bay uh, takes a young girl and she becomes his apprentice, I think. I don't know. I don't, I didn't get too far in the book to figure out what this book was about really about um so yeah and next I picked up this book called Sweep by Kate Tiernan it is a collection of three novels and it's about witches um it felt interesting a little out of my comfort zone but um I was intrigued enough by the back to pick it up and see what it's all about. And next I picked up a hardcover of Seekers Book 3, Smoke Mountain. I have most of the first series of Seekers um, and I need to have the hardback for the third book and this is actually the library hardback. Uh, so it doesn't have a dust jacket. Um, so yeah, I, I'm planning on um, reading through Seekers. I'm uh, making a video on my thoughts uh, about Seekers soon. So there's that to look forward to. Then I picked up this old cover paperback of A Dangerous Path, which I didn't previously have in my collection. I have the new cover and the hardback, but not the old paperback. Uh, so when I saw it, I picked it up. Um, and yeah, so that's added to my collection of Warriors books. And I can't say too much about it because spoilers again, there's so many books in this haul that I can't talk about because of spoilers. And the last um, book that I picked up was The Origins of Tolkien's Middle Earth for Dummies uh, by Greg Hadley. I picked this up because I am writing a fantasy book and I'm looking for inspiration from other fantasy books that I can uh, pool knowledge from and see what I like and dislike about other fantasy books. So I felt this was a good uh, buy um, to see all the stuff about Tolkien's world. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this video. Uh, this is all the books that I've picked up in the month of September. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. Um, but for now, I have plenty of books to read and definitely not enough time. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.